Hi everyone, my name is Shantasia. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am a little not made up today. I just pulled myself from about two hours of applying for jobs and writing cover letters and revamping my goofy old resume because it keeps getting messed up and hopefully I finally figured out a way to keep it from doing that. And I just decided I would take a break. I am having technical difficulties with my camera and my computer. So I'm gonna try to film this with my phone and see if maybe that is a problem. Maybe there's something going on with my camera that's causing the files to cause the camera, the computer to crash. So we're gonna give this a try and see, but I thought I would give you an update and I'm also going to do the um, quick fire camp tag that is by Evie Redding and Marissa Mohi. And I will link their collaborative videos down below so you can go check them out. Go give them some love because this is a fun tag. So I'm gonna hop right in because I do want to get back to my project and get some things done before the kids get back and the house erupts back into a bunch of activity. All right, so number one. Sun, moon, or stars? Are you working on drafting, revisions, or editing? What is your project about? Category, genre, or point of view? This year I am doing something really different. I've never really attempted anything that is nonfiction, and lately I've been kind of frustrated with world building and how I feel like I have all of it and all the pieces, but then I start writing and I realize that there's like little bitty things in there that I really didn't think about. So I am actually creating a world building workbook that I am currently calling The Biggest Bang. And it's like a question and answer, free writing type book that will help authors to explore their worlds and create new ideas and put layers in there. Even if the layers aren't always explained to the reader, we as authors need to know our world inside out. And you never know what types of brainstorming like this actually sparks ideas for your story as well, which is what I was finding. So that is what I'm working on. Um, number two, Archery practice, what is the word count page goal that you're aiming for? I actually chose to do a page goal and I had originally set it at 55 pages, but I surpassed that already. I'm at 60 pages right now. So I'm just gonna keep increasing my word count goal. I'm gonna keep going and just see how far I can get. I think it would be kind of cool to get it to like 100 pages, but I'm sure that's probably too much and I want it to be like a reasonable, a reasonable project. I don't want it to be something that's overwhelming. So we'll see how it goes. I'm sure once I get it to my beta readers that I'll either add or take out certain things. So it'll be fun just to work through it and experience this because it is definitely something new for me. I just dropped my list here. Can't do it. I can't read it off the phone when you're using it. So number three, cabin or tent, are you writing alone or with friends? I am writing with my niece. This is Mr. Fibby, by the way. <laughs> I was gonna introduce him in my last vlog, but I couldn't find him anywhere. He knew I was gonna come make him come in the house because it's been really hot and he didn't want to. So anyways, number three, I am working with my niece. She is participating in her first NaNoWriMo and she is going to be 10 years old in a month or so. And she started out very excited, but as we all know, it's a lot more complicated than we think when we start something like this. Baby, your eyes in the way. Go ahead, show, show, show. Um, so she's been a little frustrated and kind of has given up on it, but she's still excited about her project. She still says she's going to write more and I'm just excited that she feels the way I feel about books and writing, especially her age, because that's about when I started as well. So yeah, I'm writing with my niece. I chose not to do a um, cabin just because 
I never keep up with that kind of stuff. I really only show up on the website just to take care of keeping my goal updated. I don't check my messages, nothing. So I just felt like it was a waste of time, but I still wanted to encourage her and show, you know, show her everything that that website really is all about as she was doing it for her first time. Number four, around the campfire. What are your favorite songs to listen to while writing? Um, usually it is like Within Temptation and Evanescence, the Yanni, the Replacement Killer soundtrack, the Ever, the Ever After soundtrack. I have a lot of different things that I listen to depending on the mood of the story at the time. Um, but weirdly enough, I've been working on this project. I've actually been listening to Ancient Aliens from the History Channel. <laughs> I've been putting it on Hulu and just letting it run on a loop on my headphones and just letting it play and listening to it. Not really paying attention to too much of it. I have gotten a few ideas for questions on that questionnaire. Um, and I also got like two story ideas for my current work in progress that I'm not, that I'm taking a break from right now. So it was, it's fun. I Some of the stuff on there, I just laugh. And that one guy's hair, never ends <laughs> never ends every time i see it is bigger and better and i just love him it's always aliens it has to be extraterrestrials always i just love that man so um number five in the dining hall what are your favorite snacks and drinks to have when writing i actually don't usually snack when i'm writing i don't know why it's not something i've ever really done um but drinks, I usually will have Coke, or lately I've been drinking a lot more water. Today I'm taking a break from water, and I made some blue raspberry Kool-Aid because it's like a hundred and some degrees outside, and what is summer without Kool-Aid? So I was like, whatever, I don't need to be healthy today. I just want to be de I just want to be hydrated. I don't want to be dying. Number six is friendship bracelets, who I'm tagging. And I am taking you today because all of the people that I follow either are not doing Camp NaNoWriMo or they have already done this tag. So I'm going to say you do it and then come back and let me know and I will come watch your video and give you a big thumbs up. So that is everything for me today. I'm going to run and do some more writing. I hope that your project is going amazing. If you have any thoughts or questions or anything you want to add to this video, let me know. I'd be happy to check back with you. And as always, you can go and check my social media platforms. I did add a new freebie to my website as celebration. All you have to do is sign up for my email list. At this time, I'll be only sending like one email every one or two months because I don't really have that much news. All the news is pretty much on this channel. So if you would like to get that freebie, all you have to do is go to the link below, sign up for my email list, and you will receive a free character profile building worksheet that I've created over the last few years. So I will see you later. Good luck and happy writing.